but hey it's up gamers welcome back to another video it's me again bullet sword tower i'm so tired but today i'm gonna be telling you guys about one of my favorite hobbies um that i've been really into within these past few months um i i've been really into review writing you see i really i like to write a lot of reviews for a lot of different places and places that I've been to and I like writing reviews but not just like tiny reviews and not just star reviews where you just put in the star and that's all no I mean like really 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 lengthy reviews like stories almost about my about events that have transpired within that place that I'm reviewing Reviewing places, reviewing items, I prefer vlogging my reviews for items, as you all know, how I, how I do my, uh, the Teresa May Hairspray reviews, the Schwarzkopf here, all of those, all of those, uh, product reviews that I do, I like recording those, but in regards to places, I prefer writing them. It's actually great, it's helped me a lot with my, um, with English, English class at school, I'd like to get better at writing. I've always been quite good at writing, but I'd like to improve, and a great way to practice writing, for me, just little reviews for places, because my attention span, like, I know, I, my entire life, I've said this a bajillion times, but I cannot focus on one thing. I've always figured that it would be really cool to write a book or something someday, but let's be real, I can't focus on one thing for so long. So I much prefer to write little short stories, short reviews for places. It's very fun. It's also very fun when you use very archaic terms in a whimsical language within your writing. It's cool. And yes, I do make up a few things, but I tr I, I, that's alright. Um, I started writing reviews a long time ago. I wrote a really long review for my favorite pizza place, and they said that it was very sly of me to do that. And they, they now, like, whenever I go into that pizza place, they refer to me as the slyest reviewer ever. They remember me, I guess. Um, wait, where was I? I was talking about reviewing places. Um, but yeah, I started getting into this a few months ago. And then, a wee while later, one of my friends hit me up online and I helped him review some places. Because he's also into reviewing places. And we reviewed stuff together. Well, he, he, he mainly did most of it, but I, I tried helping. And it was fun. I'm not going to disclose too much about what exactly transpired on that occasion. But it was very fun and I enjoyed it. Um, leaving pictures is also pretty cool. Another cool thing about getting reviews is feedback. Because, like, you see, sometimes, oh, let's say you've written this, like, m entire, like, massive review. And then the owner actually responds to it. And that's cool because it's just like, oh my god. They read my writing. That's pretty cool. Feedback it's you uh, for me I always get that apprehensive feeling when receiving feedback I know that like a bajillion other people also experience that so I'm sure you can relate to that it's apprehensive but it's also nice knowing like yes I can improve on this or like yes they liked it that's cool it doesn't even have to follow like I've gotten a lot of criticism within a lot of pieces of my writing that it just it's kind of inconsistent or incoherent like in regards to structure 
But like, say, if I'm doing like a formal piece of writing for school, of course I'm gonna try and structure it better. But say, if it's a review, it's it's just a review. You can write whatever you want. Um, and I love that freedom about that. Like, you can just write whatever and like make as many points as you want. It's 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 really quite cool. Like, looking back at it, like, once you've finished typing everything out, then you can, like, just, like, move back and, like, take a nice little look-see at everything, at what you've just written, and it's, like, this massive, massive, massive multiple paragraphs of text that you wrote. And I like that, it's fulfilling. Hmm. I reviewed a lot of places. I go to places. Reviewing places makes me feel more compelled to go out. And going out makes me feel more compelled to write reviews. It's a little cycle and I like it. One of the only cycles in my life that I actually enjoy. Today I woke up at 5 so that I can get ready for school quicker and then I, I watched a, a few episodes of House and then I went to school and then I got home from school. I was going to go to the gym but I didn't because I felt like I was going to pass out. So I just watched a bajillion more episodes of House instead. Thank you so much for those people who recommended me watching it. I, I finished season 2 the other day. I mean I finished season 1. Wait a minute, no, no, that wasn't that, that was this morning! Wait, was it yesterday morning? I finished season one. I'm on season two, episode six now, I think, or season, or episode seven or so. I, I don't, I don't keep track of episodes. Um, I'd endorse watching it, it's quite funny. I like how it's, like, consistent with, like, one patient usually per episode. It makes it much easier to follow. Less people to keep track of. Um. Yeah. Overall, moral of the story: write re write reviews. Go outside. Watch House MD. That's all for today's video, gamers. And make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always updates. It's Friday tomorrow. Uh, yippee.